Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody had a great holiday with their family and loved ones and full of blessings and safely and most importantly healthy um, this holiday season. And today in our video, we will be talking about mounted orchids. Um, as I have talked in several of my videos in the past, we already know that this is their natural habitat. And I wanted to share this with you guys because it's actually an experiment that I am trying out. I actually um, received this um, tree trunk from my brother who cut down a, a big uh, oak tree and I told him I needed a big piece of tree trunk. So he came and brought me this and I'm testing it out to see if my orchids will um, survive and actually do well mounted on this tree trunk. So it's just a little experiment that I'm testing out to see if they will actually do well and thrive. So as you can tell, I have a couple of orchids already mounted on this um, tree trunk. I have a, a couple Phalaenopsis, I have a small Vanda. I'm not entirely sure what species this orchid is. I'm still doing a little bit of research on it. I purchased it, um, it had the name on it, but I accidentally threw the tag away. So this one, I'm still searching on the name. Um, but it is um, a work in progress and it is a project that I am currently working on. So just a couple of tips for you guys who actually want to do this. And if you also want to get started on a project like this, you are going to need a couple of things. Um, a couple of things that you're going to need or more than a couple, actually, a few things that you guys are going to need is you're going to need zip tights, zip tights like this, um, just to kind of strap your orchids down um, in several areas. Um, similar to this right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have strapped my orchids down with these zip tights in several places just to make sure they're sturdy and they don't move around and their roots are actually tied and um, touching the uh, tree trunk. And, you know, that will make the roots as they grow actually attach to the tree trunk. Or at least that's what we're hope hoping for. That is part of my experiment for the roots to attach to the tree trunk and then start growing from there. Um, so zip tights is your first tool that you'll need. Then of course you will always need your snips so that you can go ahead and cut the ends of the zip tights because you don't really want um, all the zip tights to be have their ends hanging out. You want it to make it look pretty or uh, as pretty as you can with this kind of setup because you don't have the decorative pots or anything like that to make it look pretty. And then you will definitely need as much water as you can in a spray bottle because these are gonna need a lot of attention, a lot more watering and a lot more care than the ones that you have in your pots. These orchids that are mounted are going to need special care almost on a daily basis. So I always say, if you're ready for this type of setup, you have to have a lot of time to take care of them. Um, you have to spray them a lot. And what I normally do is I wake up early in the morning, I spray them. When I come home from work, I spray them again. So I do this twice a day. Like I said, you have to have time um, because this setup is going to take a lot of time and a lot of care. So these orchids are going to take a lot of attention. If you have that time, perfect. If you don't have that time, then I suggest that maybe you just stick to your pots if you want to. I'm doing this as an experiment, so I'm willing to take the time for it now. So I just like to just go ahead and spray. And as you can tell, these roots right now are very dry because I have not sprayed them yet today. But as soon as I spray them they turn that green color that we talked about in all of my other videos. And that's how we know that they're getting the water that they need. I like to also spray the leaves and just make sure that these get a lot of water. When I spray these versus the ones in my pot, I spray these a lot more than I do the ones in the pot because these don't hold the same amount of water that the ones in the pots do. So I don't know if you guys can see from there I'm just going to try to zoom the camera in a little bit. But the Vanda orchid has already started to attach a little bit. 
I don't want to move it around a lot, but the roots have actually already started to attach to the tree trunk. So that is great. So we're just gonna go around and spray everywhere where the root touches. I also like to spray the tree trunk a little bit too because the tree trunk, the wood on the tree trunk holds in the moisture. And the roots from the orchids drink from that wood. They suck in all of that moisture. This orchid up here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the tree, the roots were doing really bad. When I purchased this orchid, the tree, the roots were actually pretty rotted. And that's why I decided to actually mount this orchid. I felt like this orchid specifically needed a little bit more air um, because it had such rotted roots. Um, so I felt like in the pot, it was not going to thrive. So I'm hoping that with this experiment, this orchid is actually going to start doing a lot better because um, the roots were just very damaged and very rotten. So we're hoping that um, the root rot will start going away and new roots will start growing being in this kind of setup. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know... Um, eventually we'll get flowers out of it, which is what our goal here is for all of our orchids. But let's hope and let's wait and see. It's part of my experiment. So we go ahead and water it just like this. And like I said, I do this twice a day. So we'll wait and see how well these orchids do. Um, if, Like I said, if you guys want to go ahead and try this experiment, you're more than welcome to. Um, there are some local nurseries that sell these tree trunks already uh, treated and ready to go for mounted orchids like this. I didn't want to go with that setup. These kind of tree trunks can be very costly. Um, in tree in orchid nurseries so i went on a little bit of a cheap side with this kind of setup so we'll see if it works um and if it doesn't then i know why um so we'll try with the a different setup next time but for now let's see if my experiment will work thank you for watching and i hope everybody has a great day like and subscribe if you like what you see and if you want to see more let me know